Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about snowboarding and skiing games on the GBA. Disney Sports snowboarding is good, but only if you judge it in context. You see, there's a limit on what you can pull off on the GBA and its tiny cartridge. The cartridge can store around 32 and up to 64 megabytes. So you can imagine as a game developer how much liberty you have. But the game is great for kids and casual players. The game is very forgiving, it's easy to pull off tricks in the game and the sense of speed is nice too. Unfortunately, the 5 stages in the game look very similar because of the technique used to make the levels. The floor is a looping video and because the technique occupies space, there wasn't room for more. But hey, you get 30 unlockable boards, which is a nice number. And you also get 6 playable characters. And you can use power-ups while racing. Overall, the game is amazing. If you haven't played it yet, just do it. It's unique, fun to play, and a technical marvel on the GBA. Johnny Mosley Mad Tricks is horrible. There are only 3 skiers in the game, and the difference between the curses is that they have a slightly different color. The controls are horrible, and navigating through the snow is more of a pain than fun. The animations are bad, and the character is too tiny. I don't recommend you to play this game. Aspen Winter X Game Snowboarding is a nice snowboarding game, if we judge it in context. It has 13 playable characters and 3 game modes, Super Pipe, Snowboarder X and Big Air. Unfortunately, this is all the game has to offer. It feels rather like a flash game than a full-fledged game. But if you're okay with this car's content, the gameplay is great. It feels really great to pull off tricks and participate in the three events the game has. And also the gameplay isn't only well executed, but it's also unique. Even if the game isn't that content rich, I still recommend you to try it. SSX Tricky is an amazing technical marvel. The game is a downscale version of the original game, and the two versions are pretty close considering what specs the GBA has to offer. It includes 12 riders and 8 courses from the PlayStation 2 version of the game, and it also has an arsenal of more than 50 different tricks you can pull off. And most tracks are recognizable from the big version. They aren't the exact same, they are dumped down, and there are no shortcuts or detailed stuff, but the art style is very similar to the tracks you get on the big version. There are three main events, race, show off, and time challenge. The only complaints I can have about the game is that the character models are ugly, not only, of, not only the one of your character, but the other characters you race with look like 2D models slapped onto something 3D, and the draw distance is poor. But I can't really complain about this, considering that it's already a great technical achievement what they did with this game as it looks now. In SSX 3 the slopes are larger and wider and this version looks more like the SSX on PS2 and GameCube. It imitates the big console experience, how it can, and you have to give the game credit for that. I mean sure, it's the worst version of SSX, because the other ones, being on more powerful consoles, of course they are better. But still, pulling off such a game is a technical marvel. You even get shortcuts in the tracks. The game has 12 characters and 12 events scattered across two mountains. Not bad, considering that the console versions have 17 events spread across 3 mountains. By doing events you can unlock new boards and clothing and you can upgrade the stats of a character. You can battery save and you can even transfer money between the GBA and the GameCube version of the game. Doing tricks is more basic than in the big version, but still, for a GBA and especially a game of this caliber, the tricks are awesome. The single complaint I can have with this game is that the other players are rubber banding and that the frame rate is choppy, but about the frame rate I can't really complain. I mean, it's a 3D snowboarding game chock full of features on a GBA. It's a technical marvel. And not only that the game is a masterpiece because of what it can pull off technically and content wise, but the gameplay is almost as fun as the big versions as the original game. It may not be as smooth, and doing tricks feels more basic. But remember, this is a GBA, and having such a fun factor and such gameplay 
on a GBA, it's the game is a masterpiece. Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder is a fun game to play. It doesn't look that great, but I don't think looks matter when you have fun in a game. The game feels like a version of Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. You go downhill and do tricks, and aside of the normal slopes you also get super pipes. The game is fun, the only problem is when you quit the game. It doesn't have battery save, so each time you boot up the game you have to input a lengthy password. And it sucks having to input such long streaks of letters and numbers. At least if you know that the players are going to input multiple passwords each time they boot up the game, make the passwords shorter. This and the looks of the game are the only things that drag it down, especially the password system, because in REST the game is fun to play. Aspen International Winter Sports 2002 isn't a snowboarding game, nor a skiing game. It's a compilation of multiple winter sports games. It's a compilation of 10 distinct disciplines, and it feels like a complete package. The controls feel great in each discipline, and the game is fun to play. It's very good for some quick bursts of fun. I recommend you the game. And considering that it has 9 disciplines, including snowboarding and skiing, it's more complete than other games on this list, and more fun to play. It's amazing. The fun factor is high with this one. It's a must have on a GBA, and considering that the game has snowboarding super pipes, slalom, and high jumps, it's super varied. And it also has bobsledding, ice skating, the game has a lot to offer. And the gameplay quality is very good too. As I said, it's a must have. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.